Now we would know this as a gum tree, a stringy bark gum tree, and you can do useful things with this. Absolutely. The stringy bark was used by Aboriginal people to make, watch that nasty ant there, to make, um, to use to actually make into rope. Now if you, you, as you can see, you can strip bits off, yeah. but the idea is to actually get in under the really coarse stuff. Right. And you've just got to loosen it up a bit. And once you've got some of the fibres loosened up, you separate it. Yeah. And, and what would you do with that twine? It's very, very simple. You can make, um, well, men used it to make into um, fishing line. Women used it to make dilly bags. Um, you could tie things together with it. It was pretty much our rope. One final plant today, it's poisonous. So Trish, the fruit of the burrowing plant looks very, very tempting, but looks deceived. Oh, absolutely. This is actually full of carcinogenics. It's got cancer-causing agents in it. Great. A lot of early scientists who actually handled this weren't aware that it had the toxins and it actually is absorbed through the skin. When Aboriginal women handled these seeds, because it's actually a staple part of um, traditional Aboriginal diet, we actually used to coat our hands in resin off the river fig tree or different kinds of trees that actually gave you a protective coat over your fingers before you handled anything like this. But, but if you process this properly, there is an edible seed inside. Absolutely. You can, there's two ways you can do it. One way is to sit these seeds into a dilly bag and let them sit in running water for three to five days. And when the little fish nibble at it, then it's fit for human consumption. Mm. And then you roast it and pound the seed and get the um, turn it into a flower and then that's made into a damper and that was done all over Australia.